so now we're looking at the last part of this question and I wanted to do this in a separate video because this is a this is a uh, almost a problem in itself and you'll have questions like this that you'll see so I just wanted to make uh, uh, an independent video about this topic here so we have a block and we want to know that if the block were on incline what is the smallest angle that would cause it to move and something that's important to note here is that the mass of this block, the mass of this block doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's half a kilogram or a thousand kilograms. It's going to be the same angle. So that's just uh, important to note. The mass does not matter. Um, so I've drawn this diagram. It's the free body diagram of the block. And I just want to run through it. So we have a ramp, it's a ramp with an angle, and the forces that are acting on the, on the block, there's no, nobody's pushing it, nobody's pulling it, nobody is actually putting any forces on this block. All these forces that you see are just naturally existing from gravity, the normal force, the friction, and then this is kind of a component of gravity. So no one's no one's pushing this block. It's kind of a component of gravity. So so the 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 part here that um, I guess I want to really make clear. Uh, notice that the gravity always goes straight down. We're used to in a lot of examples. We've got a block. It's kind of like this, sitting on the flat ground. And we know gravity's straight down, normal force is straight up. Um, and what's true here, gravity is always going to be straight down, but the normal force is not necessarily always straight up. The normal force is actually, what's important about the normal force is that it's perpendicular to the ground. That's what's important about the normal force. So. In this example here, you see the normal, uh, yeah, so we have gravity going down. The normal force is not just going up. The normal force is going perpendicular to the surface of the ramp. This is a 90 degree angle. And gravity always goes down, but in this case, to make this easier for us to work with, we want to split the gravity into its x component and its y component. So we've kind of redefined the x and the y axis over here. So our x component uh, of the gravity is fg times sine theta, and that's due to um, trigonometry with our SOHCAHTOA. This is the opposite, um, the opposite side. 2 theta, whereas um, the y component is the adjacent to theta, so it's going to be cos theta, so fg cos theta. So we have this gravity force. Truly, it's the red vector, but in terms of our math and our calculations, we're going to use these blue ones, so the components of it. And this force that is acting on the block to push it down the ramp is actually just the x component of the gravity and then the uh, the normal force because it has to be equal and opposite to the force of gravity but only in the y direction so since we've defined our y to be like this um, the normal force is opposite to this fg cos theta now knowing all this we want to know um, we have this kind of angle that we haven't defined and we're wondering what's what's the smallest angle like we're, we're gonna we're gonna have this kind of a ramp and if we have it too flat well the blocks not gonna move but if we if we make it a steep ramp well of course the blocks just gonna slide off of it so what I would like what's the what's the critical angle which we can raise the ramp to which causes the block to start to slide down. That's what we want to know. So 
at the instant that the block starts to move. At the instant the block starts to move, there's an important property, and that is that this force is equal to this force. So that's kind of our, our turning point. When this force is equal to this force, um, the, the system shifts and all of a sudden, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a critical point for us and that's gonna be the time at which our block starts to slide down the ramp. So I'm gonna write this out like this. U, uh, mu times fg, fg cos theta is equal to fg sine theta. And that comes from this formula here and this formula here. So our mu fg cos theta, well that's our mu times fn because fn is fg cos theta. And then our other term over here, um, I'll do this in purple, Fg sine theta, well that's just the force pulling our block down the ramp. So we have this equation that defines the time at which the, or the angle at which the block is gonna start sliding. And well, we're, we're, uh, we're looking to solve for theta. So it's just gonna be some algebra, some rearranging that we have to do. What I'm going to do first here is isolate this mu by bringing fg cos theta to the other side of the equation as a division. So fg sine theta over fg cos theta. And here we're going to see that our fgs cancel out. And this is the part where I was telling you, remember Fg is equal to Mg. We don't even, we don't even need to know what the mass of this object is. It's not going to, it's not going to count in, in the angle because they, they just cancel out in this step here. They just cancel out. So it's kind of an interesting thing to know, but um, that's, that's how, that's how we solve this problem is just knowing mu and knowing the angle. So mu is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, which is equal to tan theta. And if you don't know this, it's a good thing to know that tan theta is the same thing. They are equivalent to tan theta and sine theta over cosine theta, they are, they are the same thing. So now we have this we have this relationship that's going to be really valuable to us, um, and I can I'm going to take this one step further. I just have to make ourselves a little bit more space. I'm starting to run to the bottom of the page. If we want to solve for theta, we can rearrange this equation to say that theta is equal to the inverse tan of mu. So we kind of have kind of have these two equations here. Sometimes you'll know you'll know the theta and want to find mu. Other times you'll know mu and you want to find theta. In this case, we know the mu. It was given to us. Um, well, it wasn't given to us in the question, but it was a value that we found uh, in the last step of this problem. We found that mu is equal to 0 0.3. So in this case, we're going to be using this equation because we want to solve for theta. What is the smallest angle? So all we're going to do is we're going to plug in. We're going to plug in our value for mu. That's all we're going to do. So for this case, when mu is equal to 0 0.3. Again, we found that in the last step. When mu is equal to 0 
theta is equal to tan inverse of 0 0.3, which would be equal to 16.6992. Uh, it's important to have your calculator in degrees or else you'll get some different answer that uh, will be in radians and that's not what we're looking for we're looking for degrees and um, it's always good to round off a couple decimals so depending on how many significant digits you have um, you'll know like in this case we have two significant digits but I want to I want to keep I want to keep three here so we're going to go 16.7 degrees. So theta is equal to 16.7 degrees. So therefore, again, I'm running out of space. I'm going to write a concluding statement. Therefore, the smallest angle that would cause the block, that would cause the block, to slide to slide down if mu is equal to 0 0.3 is 16.7 degrees now does this make sense well, let's let let's take a look so we've got a block and we got a ramp and if the if theta if theta, that angle there, is less than 16.7, so less than, that's going to be somewhere around here, the block's not going to move. But then if it's greater than theta, so obviously if the steeper we get, it will move. So 16.7 degrees is going to be that magic, that kind of magic angle. So 16.7 degrees is going to be that magic angle that causes this block to move. And um, sometimes in your answer, um, you, you, this, is, this isn't a value you want to round down because anything less than 16.692 will not cause the block to move. So you always want to round this decimal up. But anyways, that is, that is the end of this problem. That is the solution. I hope, uh, I, hope I was able to make it clear and easy to follow along if you have any questions just post them in the comments but that is uh that is all for this video